Ladies and gentlemen, back at again with another video. Um, today, I'm doing a video going over all the equipment I use for pressure washing, but I'll keep this video um, specifically, um, fo I'll be focused in this video specifically for bin washing. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately, and I even got DMs and emails from a couple of people saying, what equipments do you use? You know, um, where can I start? What do I do? You know, all these basic one on one basic questions. So I thought, why not just, you know, do a video um, capturing or um, listing or uh, just going over some of the uh, equipment and procedures I use for bin washing. Bin washing, it does not have to be complicated. I, I feel like when somebody wants to embark on something that's brand new, they tend to sophisticate the process or overthink it. Um, what I've come to realize is just get started. If you can think about it for too long and um, put an extra burden on yourself, which is unnecessary. So it's very simple. You know, bin washing is super, super simple. Um, it, you literally just don't need a lot of stuff. Like I literally just went to Lowe's, grabbed a pressure washer, grabbed some chemicals, um, knew some people who, who I told some people about my business. And that's pretty much how I got my first like eight clients by just word of mouth. And then things just kind of went from there. Um, but it's, it's super simple. You know, I, this video, I'm going to keep this video focused only on just my equipment. Um, I wouldn't go over like the marketing aspect of things, you know, um, I won't go over, you know, um, you know, scaling or whatever, any of that. I'm just going to focus on just getting started. What I used, what I did and how i you know just got started and i'll just share what i can and hopefully this video brings value to you so let's get into it so this is my green works electric pressure washer 1700 psi 1.2 gpm um work like a charm i love this um i currently don't use this anymore i use that one over there i won't go over that one in this video but this one came with everything you see there. It came with the foam cannon. It came with the, the hose. It came with all the shenanigans you see over there. And basically, the only thing that it didn't come with was the chemicals, of course. I had to purchase that on the side. But one thing I would advise anyone who's going to get this one is this. Have an extension cord. So. An issue I ran into while I was pressure washing was I went to a client's house and they had sort of a unique outlet, you know, one of those houses where like it has like a covered outlet, if you know what I mean. And my regular, my regular, um, so the, 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 I guess the cord that came with the pressure washer couldn't really fit into that outlet of the customer's house. But luckily I had an extension cord with me that day and it, like an adapter, so to speak. And I was able to plug it into the extension cord. And then from the extension cord, I was able to you plug it into the customer's outlet and I had electricity. Um, so situations like that, you're going to definitely need an extension cord. I, I didn't really use it that much. It was rare situations like that that you would normally use it. So always have that if you're going to go to electric route. But in all honesty, after having used the Greenworks and then having used um, this gas uh, pressure washer, I don't know if I'll ever use this again. I'll be real. Um, it, it's done its job. You know, it worked well. But, man, I, I, I ran into so much inconveniences. Like, when I would... When I would wash a trash can, right, I felt like I had too much, like, cables or cords around me. And it just, I almost tripped over one time. And, you know, I, it was, it's just, it's just, it's such an inconvenience having so much cords and cables. For the chemicals, all you literally need is just bleach and simple green. And that's it. I mean, literally, you just take the bleach. And the simple green, or you can use pine tool too. Um, put it in the foam cannon and just plug and spray and clean. Um, 
if you're not going to use the electric route, that's if you're going to use the electric route. If you're not going to use the electric route, you're going to need this. Um, this is a dispenser. Um, basically, you would put the chemical mixture, this, these two, in here. And, and you would apply it using the, the wand. And this is, you would apply it into the trash bin. You would apply it in the trash bin using the wand. And then you would just um, pressure wash. Actually, you would let it sit. That's a whole another procedure. I'll go over it in another video again. Um, but here's a little, here's a little sneak peek of what I do. Most people don't do this. You know, you want to make it smell good. So this is this is fabuloso. At the end of like every wash, I would I go back and then I apply some fabuloso. Um, just to make it really smell good. I had a customer one time. I had a customer one time after I had washed his trash bins. He was, um, wow, they smell really, really good. I love it. You know, and from that on, from that day on, I was like, yeah, I'm going to start applying Fabuloso after every wash. <laughs> so that's it for the chemical mixture. Nothing too crazy. I mean, that's it. <laughs> So, like I said, if you're going to start, I would recommend you go with an 1800 PSI, maybe a one point, no, 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 sorry, that would be like a 2.2 .2 or 2.4 GPM um, uh, pressure washer. Um, reason being is, if that's if you have the budget though, because honestly, I started with the electric one because I didn't have the budget. And this one was, um, I believe it was, it was 90, I think it was $99 or 199 either one of those. Um, and it was a quick start for me. But over time, as I did a couple of houses, it just became an inconvenience. Um, I just, it was just in my way, a lot of cables. And then, you know, one thing too is I'm reliant on the customer's water. I don't bring my own water. So if I'm already using your water and your electricity, I, some people don't some people don't like that. So it's better I just only rely on their water and not have to rely on their electricity as well. It kind of makes things look differently. I'll put it that way. Um, from a business standpoint and just a client to... Um, client to um, servicer standpoint so i wouldn't recommend an electric but if you if that's all your budget can permit you it, you'll be fine you'll be fine yeah you'll be fine it's nothing to to demise it um it, it's good it's good i'm not demising anyway i'm just saying um if that's your budget I, that was my budget too and um it just over time i just had to upgrade so if that's your budget and you can do it great all means do it but if you can if you can level it up a little bit definitely go for that 1800 uh 1800 um pressure uh psi um yeah because another thing too is you don't want to go too crazy because you're cleaning trash bins if you're going to go for like a 2000 psi yikes because that's too much pressure a 1700 psi is pretty good because it's good because the pressure is not too crazy um it wasn't, you know, I didn't have like dirt going in my face all the time. Um, I didn't have any chemicals, you know, although sometimes it did, depending on the angle on how you watch. It, that's also a procedure. I'll probably do a video on that, like procedure. I did already do a video, but, you know, people still have questions, which it's okay. We're human beings. We all have questions. Um, but I'll probably do a procedure video on how to do, how to wash trash bins again, part two. So you don't want to have a high PSI, like I said because that's too much pressure but then again with the pressure though here's a here's a here's an upside to having a lot of pressure a lot of pressure means you're able to take out like some nasty like stains out with a lot of pressure but at the same time you know you're getting yourself really wet you know <laughs> which you don't want to do that <laughs> you're gonna leave there with a bunch of chemicals and your body's gonna be wet you don't want to do that um but at the same time you're gonna get a lot of of nasty dirt out but so 
use your judgment call on that and that's gonna be it for this video guys um like i said always comment if you have any thoughts or any concerns please feel free to comment and, you know I'll, I'll always i'll always respond so hope this video hope this video brought value to you um like share subscribe comment and um grace and peace to y'all bye take care